Good afternoon, folks. It is Sunday. Yes, it is Sunday here in the Philippines. It's a beautiful day. Uh, my day, I just kind of started off lazy in the morning. It was no workers here at the job side of building. And I just wanted a little me time. So I just chilled out the house for the first part of the morning. Um, got to read a few of y'all's comments on my last video. And uh, also uh, reading about the spider. Well, as I come over to unlock the property here today at Las Conchas Del Mar, here in the Philippines, I look and our neighbor from California, in that house right there, they have come home to their house here for the first time in two years. So, uh, Welcome home, neighbors. Yoli, so glad to see you. So glad to see you both. And uh, I saw all their, um, their caretakers there of that property working so hard for the past few days to make it clean and um, comforting and welcoming for Yoli to come home. So uh, that was pretty cool. They really put in the work over there, long hours getting the house tidy getting the yard tidy and the car everything power washing i mean power wash the house all over the place good job she had a good crew there working hard so that was a really nice morning to see them here and uh yoli was the first house built in this subdivision 18 years ago and that's all this subdivision has done in 18 years it's just this handful of homes that's in here it's kind of got its nice side in that because it's really peaceful and it's not jam-packed with houses and nonsense and the streets crowded and 10 million dogs and all that but at the same time uh it's nice to have a little additional life happening in here too because a dead subdivision is also not good. So the tie beams are going in here. They're getting all the steel done and bent and formed and the stirrups put in. Looks like we got a falling down tarp here. But they are making it happen. So this is where they made it to there. They were trenching out where the beams have got to go. They got a lot of the dirt shoveled out for that. They got a lot of lines pulled here for it. Uh, so this is what's happened on that. I bought some tarpaulin material, two long stretches of it here to provide them a lot of shade to work in this week because it's going to be hot and they're going to be doing a lot of uh, tedious little work in here that I want them to stay comfortable and do a good job. Woo! I had to put that camera down and go through a deep coughing session. Boy, I'm still trying to get over that crud that it got me, uh, man, I still got my head. And uh, boy, I went to coughing and kind of choking, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna get back to this video here. If I don't croak first, I wanna show you what I'm working on here today. I know you're thinking, oh my God, he's gonna talk about his solar again. Yep, I sure am. I have had the batteries sitting here in the floor. You can see the, the dots from them. And I didn't wanna move them out the last trip until I got where that battery box outside was more secured. And so I thought it's time to get them out of here. I don't wanna be breathing that gas that's put off from those batteries anyway. It's not good. So today while there's no workers and i could shut this system down because sometimes they need electricity you know and if i shut it down they might be needing to saw something it'd be a good chance for me to get this stuff moved out i had drilled the holes in the wall here a while back so i've got the two dc leads going through out there and right now outside the window here i've started moving the batteries out before I connect all the cables and stuff back up on them, they are going to get a bath. Because when they were in here working on these walls and skim coating, even though I kept trying to keep them covered up, they kept getting uncovered and they got really dirty. 
Then the next thing on my agenda is all of this right here. Let me show you all of these things. Yeah, and there's more of them. So many more of them. I will begin the task of hooking these two units together. It's time that I bring this other one alive. I've had the DC cables here for it, hanging and ready to attach in here for a while now. Um, I've had that already kind of prepped for it when I did all the other. But it's time to get the parallel cables all hooked up to it, get the settings set on there. One of them is considered a primary, the other one you hook it up as a secondary. Wait, 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 wait. I have one more thing I want to show y'all that I've done today in the garage. One more thing. Yep, I put a set of deer horns up. <laughs> I'm happy to have them there. Another little piece of back home and a little conversation piece for in here. be a lot better and I built this I also built it with a drain right here in the front you see that water running out yep it does have a drain in it because I thought about that in advance and all these batteries all but one are sitting up on styrofoam because somebody went to yanking the styrofoam base off of that one and threw it before I could stop them and it was already gone so I've got that one on a piece of marine plywood. I do not have these batteries sitting directly on the cement. Uh, you know, a lot of that is kind of like an old myth about um, the batteries discharging on there. Maybe some old batteries years and years ago. But hey, who wants to chance it? Plus, on top of that, I really didn't want these sitting directly on that rough cement on the bottom. All right, well, it looks like those cleaned off pretty good. So I uh, guess I'll get down here and only got six batteries. I know that's not a huge battery bank. This isn't a whole house here yet either. This is power for us to build with. Remember that. I'm not trying to power the whole entire place off of this. I know that. But this does provide me power that so far all the tools are working on it. All of it. Grinders, chop saw you know everything drills hammer drills you know at the same time i'm still running all my stuff inside as well and everything stays operating all night long when the sun goes down uh and i lose solar i am still running my fan i turn on all of those lights inside i'm watching the tv until late in the evening i'm on my laptop i got stuff charging the camera system's going and I can stay over here 9, 10 o'clock at night before we go to the existing house that we have there right now. And um, next morning get here, my battery's still just fine. And uh, refrigerator's still nice and solid, froze, ice cold. And everything's all good. In fact, boy, it doesn't take long after the sun comes up now that I have even more panels going up there and I reposition them that my battery is just charged up in a matter of no time this battery bank is and it's pretty much on float all the rest of the day and uh that ain't bad i mean how can you argue with that okie doke well 
I'm gonna get these connected up and we'll see what's happening. Well, folks, I got these batteries connected back up. And I wanna test right here at the breaker and make sure we got the correct power before I connect this up. So let's see here, those babies in there. And there we are, that is correct. 25.5.6 volts in the batteries there right now. So I'll go ahead and turn this breaker back on. And I've seen some of you uh, Filipino solar guys here recently comment on my videos. Hey man, I'm, I'm just a guy here too, you know, doing my thing. If you guys have some suggestions on uh, battery storage systems for me that's available here in this country, chime in. Hey, me, we might be able to do some business together, right? I might be able to uh, buy something from you and also might be able to plug you if you give me something really good and help you out there as well and give you references to people that's been asking even around me right here. So any you little solar guys out there that have uh, been commenting lately, step on up to the plate, shout at me, write some really good comments, give me your input, let's have a chit chat, and um, help me out as well, okay? All right, well this is gonna be it for the day for me. Uh, looks like we might be having a little bit of a storm trying to blow in. I got some stuff I wanna button up. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day out there. If you're in the U.S. and you're still enjoying your weekend, and I'm able to get this video up, I hope you're having a great weekend. If it's on in the middle of the week because of my lagging internet, well, just know I was wishing you a great weekend. Thank you all you new subscribers uh, and the people out there that are uh, co-followers of the Crockers. Man, y'all just keep supporting old Jason out there, man. Uh, I like what he's doing. I'm gonna make a video soon about that and I've got something in store for Jason as well. Uh, I like him, y'all keep supporting him. He's a pretty cool dude, I'm telling you. He really is. All right, y'all take it easy and see you the next round.